assalamu alaikum in the previous video we have said that when the pressure of gas inside the discharge tube is reduced to 0.01 mm of mercury the walls of a discharge tube glows green and emits out some sort of invisible radiation we call this radiation as cathode ray in this video we will discuss some of the properties of a cathode rays now before going at let me tell you what is this cathode ray cathode ray is found to be a stream of electrons is nothing but a stream of a stream of electrons so they possess a negative charge first property is they travel in a straight line they travel in a straight line straight line but uh, in the presence of electric field and the magnetic field they are deflected this deflection is due to the presence of electrons they are deflected by they are deflected by electric field and the magnetic field here e stands for electric field and the b stands for magnetic field so suppose i produce electric field by passing current through two metal plates suppose the upper plate is connected to positive terminal of the power supply and this metal plate is connected to negative terminal of the power supply then the ma the electric field produced will be acting in this direction from positive towards a negative terminal okay in this case if you pass an uh, a beam of cathode ray then it will deflect towards the anode towards the metal plate which is going to positive terminal because the cathode ray is comprised of electrons so it gets attracted by anode got it next property it is found that cathode rays show fluorescence and the phosphorescence they show fluorescence and phosphorescence what is this fluorescence and phosphorescence see there are certain substances like a zinc sulfide when uh, invisible radiations like a cathode ray fall on them they glow this glowing property of uh, the material when they encounter some invisible radiation is referred as fluorescence okay and the uh, phosphorescence is nothing but delayed fluorescence the another name of phosphorescence is delayed fluorescence why is it uh, called so the reason is they glow even after the removal of uh, radiation so when radiation fall on them they glow if we remove the radiation even then they glow for a certain uh, period of time so we call them as fluorescence so on the road side you may find a uh, uh, signal boards when the uh, light fall on them they glow it is due to fluorescence and a rosary beads when taken into a dark room it emits out the light it glows it is due to phosphorescence i made a separate video on this topic to get more information can you go through that so what are the other properties we'll see so it is found that cathode ray travels with a velocity of 1/10th of speed of light they travel with they travel with a velocity of a velocity of velocity of 1/10th of 1/10th of the speed of light 
the tenth of the velocity of light. That means if you divide the velocity of light by 10, you will get the, the velocity of cathode ray. Then next, it is found that they have the capability of affecting photographic plate. So they affect the photographic plate. And the problem. They affect Photographic plate. The effect of photographic plates. Then there's one more property. Cathode is possess energy and momentum. They possess energy. and momentum. These are some of the properties of cathode rays. Now there is one more property. When they are made to pass through gases, they ionize them. So they ionize the gas through which they pass. They ionizes the gas through which we through which they pass. Okay. Suppose there is a gas. If I pass the cathode ray through that gas, then the formation of a positive and negative ion is observed. So it is called ionization. It is one of the properties of a cathode rays. I hope the video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt relevant to the topic, kindly put a question in the comment section. Thanks for watching.